And so before we start this video, I gotta get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. Okay, that's out of the way. Ow! What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I am excited as I can be. I'm going to be on with uh, Dan Salio, who is a Philadelphia Eagles um, broadcaster and we're going to be talking about Cowboys Eagles trying to do something a little bit different here we're not going to have animosity we're going to try and give you the truth as we sit here 141 days from the kickoff of the 2024 season that's all time we got left to get this shit together and yesterday was the first day of OTAs and it sounds like my son Philly is a little bit worried. Now, I'm going to be 100% real with y'all. Um, I was intrigued by Jordan Davis because I looked at the size and the strength and actually, surprisingly enough, the speed that he had um, and said, that's one of those things that we're missing on our defensive line. Now, I didn't want to move up in the draft like the Eagles did and give up a lot of draft compensation, but if he had fallen down to us, I'd been more than happy because, see, as my buddy DMV says, when you control the middle of the field, you control the field. And getting a guy who can play in the middle, you know, that has that mentality of understanding, I believe me, I played nose tackle, nose guard back in my days, what we called it. And it is a position like none other. You are getting hit constantly from the center, from the guard, from the other guard, from, you know, the tackle doing an influence block, from a wham block, from a, a tight end where you don't even see him because he's in motion and the ball's a snap and he's hitting you in your ear hole. Okay? You got the fullback coming for you. You get hit by everybody but the damn quarterback. And make it even worse, the freaking ball is right there in front of your face and you can't touch it. You can't touch it. You just want to pick the damn thing up, and you want to go for the touchdown. You, you, you want some glory. I'm sorry. I digress. I let my own personal feelings get into this. But my son, Philly 500, seems to be a little bit upset about Jordan Davis, who's going into his third year. Now, Eagle fans have been talking about Mozzie Smith and how he's a bust and everything else. But the problem with Jordan Davis is, is he can give you some incredible plays, a few, and then he gets tired. And so apparently, Philly 500 thinks that he's not in shape and has a deal for him. Let's listen to my son, Philly. Philly, go ahead. Guys coming in, and one of the guys walking in was Jordan Davis. And I looked at Jordan Davis, I said, he don't look... He don't look like he's worked out at all. He looks like he's been sitting around with 3500 having he donuts donut. and egg dogs. So all I got to say, Jordan Davis, is this. Mm. No donuts for me. No donuts for thee. Okay? No Get off the donuts. <laughs> the most important guy during these all-season workouts, in all seriousness, all joking and kidding aside, is Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis has to be in shape. Jordan Davis is going to have to be lighter than he was last year. He 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 was out of gas after that Buffalo game. After Chase and Josh, Josh Allen. And then <laughs> trying to make a play, which is a great play. It was amazing it to was, see him it was a run him play. down. But do you notice Boom. how long he was down on the ground like this? Uh, like, like two minutes. Like, he has to be in shape this year. He cannot afford, cannot afford to come in out of shape or to mm. run out of gas. I think this is a make or break year for Jordan Davis. Um, when you look a at all the defensive players, right? For a player about, you moved up for? We've talked a ton what? about, you know, pass for edge rushers. We've talked about linebackers. To me, the key to this defense is the middle of that line. Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter have to be good if they're good and they're dominating i believe the rest 
will all fall into place. But it's going to come down to Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter. And, and just and just keeping it real, Jalen Carter ran out of gas last year, too. They both did. And and that mm-hmm. has to change. And now, the effect right of the now, cheese steaks? This, is, this is where Jordan Davis makes his season right now. He has got to be in there. He has got to get strong. Well, he's pretty damn strong. But he's got to get... He's got to get better conditioned. He's got to be uh-huh. able to last the whole year and be dominant. Mm-hmm. Early in the year, beginning of the year, Jordan Davis was playing at a Pro Bowl level. Hate to tell the haters out there, but he was. Uh, the problem is he just ran out of gas. And I think that is coming down to conditioning. Um, so we need Jordan Davis to be ready to go. 3,500, hey, I, I'm, I'm working out too. I got to be better conditioned for this season because I plan on pacing and running and yelling and screaming a lot. And I'm going to be out of breath and I can't run out of gas during these live streams because they're going to be intense. So Jordan Davis and me, man, we got to get it together. We got to get our asses right, Jordan Davis. We're fat asses. We got to stop. We have three kids in the back of our head. What are you doing to yourself, Jordan? What are you doing? Look in the mirror. What are you doing? What are you doing to yourself? Oh, my God. Stop it. Me too. We got to stop oh, it. So let's get our shit together, Jordan Davis. Let's, get let's go together. out there. Let's get in shape. Let's go make babies. Let's ha- make it happen, baby. You know what I'm saying, Jordan Davis? Let's do it. Pause. No did. Let's go do it, Jordan Davis. But that's the truth. I'm ready, as you can tell. I'm ready for the season. Could not be more ready. Oh. Um, it's going to be fantastic. Oh my goodness. But I want Jordan Davis to honestly, I want him to go out there. And I want him to be a pro bowler. I want him to go out there and shut everybody down. I do because I'm so sick and tired. So sick and tired of the negativity with him. I think oh. Jordan Davis has all the talent in the world. Um, I just think he's got to be better better conditioned. I believe he's a third three down player i believe he can play all three downs i really do and i think he can get better and better but i think he just ran out of gas so i'm totally losing my voice now but i think he's got to let, be let, let um, me help you out son i think i think he's got a lot of work to do so as a workout let, let me help you uh, out all when season it comes begins, to i hope jordan a special davis eye will be kept happened. on jordan davis and where he's at because i think yeah, the defense does goes defense have where jordan heart? no they suck. Versatile. I've been telling you all season, Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Jalen Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Jalen Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness. Did he say they...